welcome back to another vlog. This week it's my birthday and I already have some packages that came in from friends and family. So I wanted to do a haul and I'm also getting a haircut tomorrow. I'm excited but a bit nervous because I think I'm gonna get um, quite a bit off and then get some layers and everything. I've always kept my hair one length because it's easiest to do like different braided hairstyles and things but um, it's like to a point where it's so long that it's kind of frustrating to even do those hairstyles. So I think a couple inches off won't look that different and will just be easier to manage. So I'm gonna go do that tomorrow, but let's show you guys some amazing gifts that I got. This is from my best friend, Lauren. We were visiting her in Ottawa and I saw this cutting board and I loved it. I thought it was very Florida and she got it engraved with our engagement date. Love this gift. I opened it and was so excited. Maybe I'll make my kitchen more beachy themed. Also from Lauren, this cat spatula, which you guys will see in my cooking videos. I'm headed to the salon. I've never been before. I haven't been to a salon in years at this point, but I'll show you around and hopefully it'll be the place that I continue to go. First, we're gonna get some Starbucks. Wish it was pumpkin spice latte season, but not quite yet. Actually, what if it, what if it is? That'll be such a great surprise. <laughs> it's a good morning. Ice pumpkin spice latte. I am back. Here is my new hair. It's really not all that different because I had so much length. Like I feel like after your boob, it's not that different when you get a haircut. But I did take a couple inches off and blended by Angela is who did my hair and she was fabulous. I got um, face framing layers. I didn't want them to start too high because it can be very choppy when you have very long hair. And I have a couple sneaky um, extensions sewn in, which I'm loving. We'll see how much work they are. But yeah, this is my hair. I'm quite happy with it. Yay. Well, I still have some sunlight. I thought I would do a PR haul. So I get a lot of PR from nude sticks and I do really like some of their products. I don't grab for it all the time. Ooh, I will try this though. This is the Nude Sticks Tinted Blur Foundation Stick, cream to powder. This will be cool to try. My absolute favorite foundation has been the Beautiful Skin by Charlotte Tilbury, but I'll give this a go because I am almost out. Two other boxes. We have the Nudies Matte Luxe All Over Face Blush Color. Lots of these. I have tons of these in my kit already, so maybe I will do a giveaway. Nude Sticks is a brand I gift to a lot of people who like minimal makeup. Like, it's a great brand for that. I do really like their blushes, but I don't apply them directly to my face. I just find they're harder to blend out if I already have foundation on, which I usually am wearing. So I like to use a buffing brush and I'll go like that, get it warmed up, and then apply it to my cheeks. And then I still do like to set it with powder, but this is a really pretty shade. It is Nude Buff. Oh wow, more. Wait, did they mean to send me this twice? Okay, I will do a giveaway. If you wanna uh, try out these, just let me know in a comment. Here's how to enter, comment down below. Moving on to my favorite package recently. Oh my God, let's open it up. And I thought this brand was pronounced Loctane for my whole life. Nobody ever corrected me. Maybe someone did in the comments before, but usually if someone corrects me, I like study the word, but it's L'Occitane, 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 L'Occitane. Oh. L'Occitane. I struggle, but anyways, I will be practicing that one. But my favorite fragrance does come from them. This is discontinued. I wore this all of middle school. It's honey and vanilla, a bit of citrus. I don't think they have a fragrance, but this skin oil, oh, I'm obsessed. It makes your skin so soft. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. My mom's asking if I got my birthday package, which I haven't yet. So I'll do an unboxing of my mom's gifts because she really does give the best gifts and she does a lot of homemade things. I also have this shower oil. The almond line, definitely check it out. Okay, Olive in June. This is my favorite nail brand. You can find them at Target. I love their PR packages. Like seasonal nails, I'm always excited about. <gasps> I think this one, Tip Your Barista, is gonna be my fall favorite. And let's see what other colors. And Olive and June's nail polish remover is amazing. I love it. You just stick your finger in and it takes the nail polish right off. Just like this. 
Moving on to clothes, I love Rifle Paper Co. I have a couple things that I got for myself for my birthday, and one of them was a new pair of shoes. I love a cute sneaker. These are just white. They have a little bit of height to them and have some gold. I always think of the click when they say um, in the books that like heads are so lame. They're my favorite. I freaking love them. Got some cute recipe cards. I got personalized thank you notes. You guys are gonna love these. On Rifle Paper Co., you can customize a little drawing of yourself. So these are my note cards. I send these as thank yous. Seriously, check out the site. It is adorable. And with it, I happened to get a free ruler. I've always wanted candles like this. These are from my best friend, Lauren. This is the card it came with. And look at these babes. I wish my boobs looked like that. But I will see you guys when I get my mom's package and I'll have to unbox that as well. It's my birthday. I am wearing this Reformation top that I got. I'm headed to a beautiful garden today. I've been wanting to go for forever. It's called the Cummer Museum. So there's artwork. It's a beautiful garden, kind of similar to Central Park, but like mini. So I'm really excited to go. And first we're headed to Chick Salad Chick, my absolute favorite chain. Makeup of the day. I'm wearing butterfly blush from Benefit on my cheeks and lips. And they sent me some beautiful birthday flowers. I have arrived. What'd you get? Fancy Nancy always. <laughs> my favorite painting. museum and it is so much more extravagant than we thought it was gonna be we really didn't look that much into it but oh my gosh we're on the water right now we just looked at some beautiful art it's a beautiful day it beats the Met <laughs> it, be it beats the Met to us because the vibe there isn't like a bunch of security people watching you and not allowing you to take photos <laughs> this is so gorgeous Museum. Tyler gave me this weird <laughs> little squishmallow and my parents sent me a box of things so I'm gonna call them and see what they sent and then I'll give you guys a little overview. I did have a big thing of sangria and I had major hiccups on the way home. I held my breath till I was gonna pass out and now I am good again. Hi Kitty! Hi! <laughs> oh god it's so dirty on the ground. Let me open some presents. Let's open. <laughs> we are now stocked up on candy. Thanks, Ma. Kitty pens. <laughs> All time favorite chocolate. This is from New Zealand. My mom's handmade dish towels. Canadian pajamas. <laughs> Homemade socks. I hope you guys enjoyed my birthday haul. I was just pulling off my big eyelashes I had on and I'm gonna watch some the originals. I've been obsessed with the originals. I seriously need to clean up my place, but we are redoing the bedroom right now. Also, I'm like doing vertical video on YouTube. Oh well, anywho. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see my new bedroom. I think it's gonna turn out pretty cute and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.